Hello students, so in this class we will continue reading the factorization of any quadratic polynomial using algebraic identity. In the previous classes we have already completed how to factorize any quadratic polynomial using two techniques. What are they? The first one is vector theorem and the second one is the middle term splitting method. And in this class we will factorize this type of quadratic polynomial okay, using any algebraic identity. Since we have studied only four types of algebraic identities, that is identity 1, 2, 3 and 4. These four types of basic algebraic identities are used here in order to factorize them into two linear polynomials. So, let us start with the question number 1. Okay, We need to factorize this type of quadratic polynomial here. So, in the question number 1, we have 49 square plus 70 ab plus 25 d square. First, tell me whether it is a quadratic polynomial or not. Since it has two variables, that is one is a and other is b. And both the variables have the power 2. That means it is a degree 2, so it is a quadratic polynomial. Okay, we have to factorize it. Since it contains three terms, okay. 49 square 70 ab plus 25 b square. Now, how can we factorize them first? Convert 49 to be the square of something number. As we know, 49 can be written as 7 square because 7 square is how much? 49. Clear now? And a square can be written as a square. So, this total term, 49 a square can be written as 7 a whole square. How? Since we know 7 square is 49 or you can say 7 a whole square means what? It means 7 square into a square. As we have studied the exponent rules in the chapter 1 that a b to the power n is equal to a to the power m into b to the power n. Okay. So, 7 a square can be written as 7 square into a square. 7 square is 49 and a square is simple. These two are equal. So, 14 a square can be written as 7 a square. Clear now? Now, we have to write the symbol. Then, just escape the second term. Okay, just escape. For some time, we will write this second term. Now, coming to the third term. In the third term, we have 25. 25 can be written as 5 square. And this can be written as b square. So, this 25 b square can be written as 5 b whole square. Okay. Now, in this term, second term, you have to write what? You see, 2 into first term, only first term, not the square, only the first term. Okay, 2 into 7 and into the third term. Okay, 5. Why I am writing this? I am writing this because you can multiply this number, then we will find 7 to the 14. 14 into 5 is 70. A into B is 80. Now you see, this second term, this is also the second term and these two are equal. That means, this 70 and A, B can be factorized as 2 into 7A into 5B because the value of this is equal to the second term that is the 70 A, B. So, this 70 A, B can be written as 2 into 7 into 5B. Okay. Now, you have to remind all these four identities. Okay, out of four identities, which identities is similar with this three term or this expression? Okay, so it is compared with or comparing with comparing with x square plus two into x into y plus y square. This is the first identity. You remind the first identity is x plus y square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. This is the first identity and I am writing this term first. Okay. So, this is compared with this expression. Now, from this expression you can get there is square, here is also square. So, x is 7x. So, I am writing here x is equal to 7x. Clear now? And here C, y is 5b square square. So, y is equal to 5b. Here, if you want to verify whether x is 
7a or not, then you can check here. This is 7a, this is 2, 2, and this is y, 5, p. Clear? Here also y, 5, p. Here also y, 5, p. Here are x, 7, and here x, 7. So now you get the value of x and y. Okay? Now, what is the formula of x square plus 2x plus y square? The formula of this is x plus y square. Okay? It is x plus y square. So, in the place of x, just put 7a. In the place of y, you have to put 5b whole to the power 2. Okay? Now, as we know, x square can be written as x into x. 5 square can be written as 5 into 5. So, 7a plus 5b square can be written as 7a plus 5b into 7a plus 5b. Okay? Because this term square means this term is multiplied twice. So, 7a plus 5b into 7a plus 5. Okay? Now, our factorization is completed. You can see this quadratic polynomial now can be factorized into two linear polynomials. Here the degree is 1. Here also 1. Okay? So, this is the reach at your factorization. Clear? Now, we can do the question number 2 here. It is also a similar type of question as question 1. Here also, there are 3 terms and you have to convert 121 to be the square of a number. 121 is 11 square and x square is x square. So, it can be written as 11x square. Clear? Now, just escaping the second term, write down the third term. In the third term, we have 144. 144 is 12y square. Okay, then in this middle term you have to write 2 whole into this only, 11x and this only, 12y. Why I am writing this? Again multiply these 3 numbers, 2 into 11x into 12y, 11 to that, how much? 22 into 12y and there is a x. So 22 into 12y, how much? 22 into 12y, 264 and here xy. Now you can see. 2 into 11x into 12y can be written as 264 xy and here is the 264 xy. That means in this place we can write 2 into 11x into 12y. Okay. Now we have to remind the identities with which it resembles or it is compared with. Okay. Since there is only plus sign only, so it is compared with the identity 1. So comparing it with identity. So, x square plus 2 into x into y plus y square. Now, compare this two term, okay, or two expression, you can see here in the place of x, there is 11x. So, you can write x is equal to 11x and in the place of y, here 12y because there is square, here also exponent 2 present. So, y is equal to 12 now you know what is the formula of x square plus 2x square plus y square. The formula of x square plus 2x square plus y square is x plus y whole square. So you can write now in the place of x you have to put 11x. In the place of y you have to put 12y square. And a number square means that number is multiplied twice. So you can write it as 11x plus 12y whole into 11x plus 2y. Now, there you are. You can get the factorization of this quadratic polynomial as the product of two linear polynomials. So, now let us discuss about the second type of question where we have to factorize this type of quadratic polynomial okay, into the product of two linear polynomial using the algebraic identity. Okay. So, let us start with the question number 1. Here we have it is a quadratic polynomial because its degree is 2. So, first we have to write 4y square. 4 can be written as 2 square and y square can be written as y whole square. So, this 4y square can be written as 2y square. Okay. So, now 2 square is 4, y square is y square. Now, write the symbol. Then, escape this second term. Coming to the third term that is 1. And that 1 can be written as 1 square. Okay. Now, in this second term, you just write 2 whole into first term that is 
2y and the second term that is 1. Ignore this square, only write the second term and the third term. So, now, why I am writing this? You can see, 2 into 2y into 1 is how much? 2 to the 4, y into 1 is y. So, this is 4y. So, in this place, 4y you can write minus 2 into 2y into 1. Now, remind with which identity this expression compared with. This expression is compared with actually the identity x minus y whole square is equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square. Okay? So, you can see this identity is compared with this identity. So, write it comparing with x square minus 2xy plus y square. Okay? So, now you can get the value of x is here 2y and the value of y is here 1. So, just write x is equal to 2y here and y is equal to 1. Okay? So, now since the formula of x square minus 2 x square plus y square is x minus y whole square. So, just write it x minus y whole square is equal to in the place of x just put 2y and in the place of y just put 1 whole square. Since any number square it means that number is multiplied 2y. So, 2y minus 1 can be written as 2y minus 1 whole into 2y minus 1 and our answer is completed hence we factorize this quadratic polynomial into the product of 2 linear polynomial okay by using the identity 2 this is the identity 2 okay so carry with the question number 2 in question number 2 here also we have 3 terms now this 16x square can be written as 4 square x square can be written as x whole square okay now ignore the Second term, coming to the third term. In the third term, we have only simple 25. 25 can be written as 5 whole square. Now, in the second term, we have to write 2 whole into first term whole into second term. Okay? So, now, 5 for the 20, 20 to the 40 and x, x. So, minus 40 x can be written as minus 2 into 4 x into 5. And now, this algebraic expression is compared with the expression x square minus 2 x y plus y square. So, you just write comparing it with this. Okay, so here you can get the value of x is 4x and the value of y is only 5. So, write it here x is equal to 4x, okay, and y is equal to 5. As you know, the formula of x square minus 2x square plus y square is x minus y whole square. So, in the place of x, I write 4x and in the place of y plus 5. So, 4x minus 5 whole square means this term is multiplied twice. Okay. And we finally convert this quadratic polynomial, this quadratic polynomial into the product of two linear polynomial. And our factorization is completed now. Hello students. So, in the previous class, we have discussed how the identity 1 and identity 2 are utilized to factorize a quadratic polynomial into the product of two linear polynomial. And today in this class, we will discuss how the identity 3 and identity 4 are used to factorize such type of quadratic polynomial. So, let us start with the utilization of identity 3. Okay? So, here is the question. The question first question tells us that this is an algebraic expression of degree 2. Okay. So, here is x square minus y square by 100. We have to factorize it. That means we have to convert it into two linear polynomial. 
How? Let's see. X square can be written as AX whole square. True? Then this Y square can be written as Y whole square. It is also true. And this 100 can be written as 10 whole square. Okay. Now, again I am writing C. This is X whole square minus. Okay. As you know, A by B. Okay. A to the power M by B to the power M can be written as A by B whole to the power M. This is the rule of the exponent. Okay. It is in the chapter 1. So, that means A to the power 2 divided by B to the power 2 is how much? A by B whole square. Simple. Similarly here, y to the power 2 divided by 10 to the power 2 can be written as y by 10 whole to the power 2. Okay? It is clear now. Now this expression is compared with the identity 3. You have to find with which identity this expression is being resembled. Okay? Since it is compared with the comparing it with identity 3. Okay. So, what is identity 3? Identity 3 is a square minus a square. See, this is identity 3 is equal to x plus a into x minus a. Okay. So, here you get or this is compared with this algebraic expression. Now, from this two comparison you can get here also x, here also x. Here a but in place of a, here is y by 10. So write it fast. So I am writing here. Here x is x. Okay, here x, here x, and here a. Here y by 10. Here minus, here minus. So we get two values of variable x and a. Okay. Since we know the formula of x square minus a square is how much? X plus a into x minus a. So you can just write x plus a into x minus a. Now in the place of x, I have to put x and in the place of a, I have to put y by 10. Whole into again x minus y. x minus in the place of y, y by 10. And this is the final answer. Hence this quadratic polynomial is written as the product of two linear polynomial. You can see there are two variables x and y and that each exponent is 1. So, it is the linear polynomial. Clear now? So, it is completed. Next, coming to the question number 2. Okay. In question number 2, we have also two term. Okay. Since there is two term, that means you have to think about the identity 3. Because in identity 1, there are three terms. x square plus 2x square plus y in identity 2, there is also 3 term. x square minus 2x square plus y square. Okay. And in identity 3, there is 2 term. x square minus a square. In identity 4, there is how many terms? 3 term. Remind, x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus x all into a plus b plus a. This is the fourth identity and it has 3 terms. Definitely since it has two terms, so it must resemble with the identity 3. Okay. So, let us do. So, here this 25 can be written as 5 square. This 4 can be written as 2 square. Hmm? Now, x square can be written as x square. So, this term can be written as 5 by 2 of x whole square. See how. 5 square is 25. True. 2 square is 4. And x square is x square. Okay. Then minus sign. And y square can be written as y whole square. 9 can be written as 3 whole square. So this term can be written as y by 3 whole square. Okay. y square, 3 square the 9. Clear? Now this algebraic expression is compared with the algebraic expression x square minus a square. x whole square minus a whole square. So, here you get the value of x is how much? Tell me. The value of x is how much? It is 5 by 2x because inside the bracket it has x and inside the bracket it has 5 by 2 of x. So, what is the value of x? So, x is equal to 
i by 2 of x and a is equal to y by 3 and you know now the formula of x square minus a square is x plus a all into x minus a so in the place of x put i by 2 x in the place of a put y by 3 clear now and in the second term in the place of x i by 2 a and in the place of a is y by 3 and hence the quadratic polynomial is expressed as the product of two linear polynomial okay now it is understandable so coming to the question number 3 now in question number 3 you have sorry this is 25 okay in question number 3 it is 25 it is 9 and it is 16 y square okay I have written the wrong question here, so I rectify it. So now 25 can be written as 5 whole square, x square can be written as x whole square, so this total term can be written as 5 x whole square. Means 5 square the 25, x square the x square. Now 9 by 16, so 9 can be written as 3 square, 16 can be written as 4 whole square, and y square can be written as y whole square. So this can be written as 3 by 4 whole of y whole square. Now it is compared with it is compared with identity 3. Identity tells us x square minus a square is equal to x plus a into x minus a. Now here you can see the value of x is 5x. Always put the bracket so that it is easy to understand or it is easy to find the value of x. So here x is 5x and a is 3 by 4y. Okay. Now the formula of x square minus a square is x plus a into x minus a. So in the place of x, 5x and a is 3 by 4y into 5x and minus and in the place of a you will put 3 by 4y. And there is the answer. Okay, here also we convert that quadratic polynomial into the product of two linear polynomial. Clear now?